Dissolve burst effect. We'll start in Photoshop by preparing the base images, one for the car and one for the background. In Photoshop, use Select Subject to isolate the car. Then apply Generative Fill to remove it from the background. Once that's done, use Select Subject again on the new image, press Ctrl plus J to put the car on a new layer, and save both the background and the car separately as PNG files. Now in DaVinci Resolve, switch to the Fusion tab. We need the background and the car PNG images, a merge node and a media out node to display everything in your timeline. First, select the car image and duplicate it with Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus V. Then press Shift plus Space and add the following nodes, P Render, P Image Emitter, P Turbulence, and P Friction. Connect the car image, media in, to P Image Emitter, then to P Friction, then to P Turbulence, and finally to P Render. After that, connect the P Render to a merge node. As soon as we connect the P Render to the merge node, you'll notice the car image changes, that means the particles are active. Now select the P Image Emitter and go to the inspector. Set the channel to RGB, style to blob, then adjust the size to around 0.2 or higher until the image looks right. Also set the size variance to 0.1 for a more natural look. Set the lifespan to match the video, and add lifespan variance between 10 and 30. Here I'm just previewing how velocity and velocity variance affect the spread, but I do set angle Z to minus 90 to make the particles fall downward. Let's start the actual setup. At the beginning, Set a keyframe for velocity at 0.01 and velocity variance at 0.5. Since I want the car to break apart more slowly, I'm adding multiple keyframes and gradually increasing the velocity values. But for something like a logo, you could keep the values constant, somewhere between 0.1 and 0.15. This part will be a quick cut-in. In my case, I gradually increase the velocity to around 0.1 and use velocity variance values between 0.5 and 1. Now that the particle motion is set up, let's move on to fine-tuning how it slows down, using P-Friction. Set a keyframe for friction at 0.15 at the start, then 0.2 around 1 quarter in, and 0.25 at 3 quarters. This gradually slows the particles down as they spread, making the dissolve feel more natural. In P-Turbulence, set the random seed to around 11,000. Set strength X, Y, and Z to 0.5, and density to 50. This adds controlled chaos to the particles, making the breakup look less uniform and more organic. Now go back to the P-Image Emitter and set Temporal Distribution to Randomly. This makes the particles emit at different times, creating a more natural and less synchronized breakup. Now it starts tracking the image sequence, which can take a while and be heavy on your system, depending on the resolution. After the first merge, add another merge node. Connect the duplicated car image to it, and use the blend setting to fine-tune and improve the overall dissolve effect. First, set the size to 1.4, this helps cover the original image and gives a sharper look at the start of the effect. Then keyframe the blend, start at 1, and gradually lower it through values like 0.4, 0.25, 0.2, 0.15, and finally 0. This keeps the car's silhouette visible as it dissolves, but feel free to tweak the values to fit your scene. Once you're back in the edit page, it's a good idea to set the render cache to smart under the playback menu. This helps DaVinci play back the effect more smoothly. And that's it, your dissolve burst effect is ready. Now it's your turn to play around and make it your own.